Howdy there folks, it's Geist with another Destiny 2 video. And in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the Le Monarch Catalyst, which finally dropped. Uh, now unfortunately, uh, the Catalyst increases the stability and the reload speed, which is uh, doesn't do much. There's absolutely no nothing noticeable with that. Uh, but unfortunately the perk that it adds is uh, unrelenting. Which, as far as I'm aware, doesn't actually trigger until you're on like the third kill in Crucible. Um, it's, uh, I, I don't know what they were thinking. This is an absolutely terrible perk for the Monarch. It does not synergize well with the weapon whatsoever. I could see it synergizing well enough in PvE, um, but in most PvE content, you should be just, you know, far away from everything anyways. You really shouldn't be close enough to where unrelenting is going to be something that's going to matter. Um, and as far as a PvP standpoint, um, it's just useless. Uh, I know there's been some videos out there about how cool Unrelenting is or something like that. I, I just don't see it. Uh, the fact is, it just doesn't seem to kick in until about the third person that you've killed in a short amount of time, and that's just kind of silly. Um, I, personally, I think they need to rework Unrelenting instead of just... I think they gave it a little buff a while back, but it just needs a complete rework. In order for it to be worth anything, they should make it sort of like a light version of what Crimson does. You know, it doesn't need to give you back full health because then everybody's just going to be running unrelenting on everything. But, you know, maybe something similar to Worm Husk, like a small bump. Just every time you get a kill with it, it gives you just a little chunk of health. I could see that being a lot more useful. Um, otherwise, this is just completely useless on the Monarch, and it's an absolute letdown. Um, now, that being said... Um, you might as well get it if you like Le Monarch. It's there, so you might as well put it on there just for that extra bump and reload speed, which can't hurt. Um, stability doesn't really do that much for you. Supposedly increases the draw time, but I, if you're using Le Monarch, religiously, you're probably a hunter with Oath Keepers anyways, like myself. Uh, and furthermore, with uh, Unrelenting and PvP, uh, just another thing, it... Um, if you're using Le Monarch, one of two things, you're going to be doing one of two play styles. You're either going to be using it completely just Le Monarch, and you're going to be peak shotting, in which case you're not really going to be racking up kills super quick. It's just going to sort of be a steady thing with you laying down lots of damage. On the other hand, you might be doing the bow swap build, which will get you teabagged in about five seconds of using it, uh, but you're swapping to the hand cannon for the cleanup, so unrelenting is not going to trigger there either. Um, so again, just an all-around useless perk. But anyways, uh, if you want to get this perk, it's dropping from Crucible Strikes and Gambit. Um, and in order to complete it, you just need to have it drop and then go get 700 kills with the Monarch. Uh, since the Thrallway no longer works, I recommend going to Grasp of Avarice and just kind of sitting back and just picking off the ads one by one. Uh, if you are a hunter with Tether, you can drop down your Deadfall and then the deadfall will tether everything you shoot one of them and all those kills will count towards the monarch that's how i did mine i got it done fairly quickly 700 not too long uh d d doesn't take too long anyways uh but anyways that's pretty much all i have to say about the catalyst I <laughs> again i can't stress how much of a huge letdown this is for something that we've essentially waited years for on an incredibly popular weapon uh, i was really looking forward to it and i was pretty excited about it but unfortunately it is quite a letdown um, it's just a shame that they couldn't come up with anything creative. I guess they just thought, well, it doesn't need anything because it's strong in its own rights. And that may be true, but, I mean, they could have given it something more PvE-focused. It didn't need anything to make it better in PvP, but, oh well, unrelenting is what we get. Uh, anyways, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a wonderful evening. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is...